It's the end of an era, guys. The last of the Dragon Ball Mecha Collection kits. This is number seven, Master Roshi's Wagon. So this is the last in the line. They did seven, obviously one for each Dragon Ball, kind of playing off that. And we've reviewed them all, and we're gonna finish up with number seven here. I'm gonna unbox and review this for you guys, and then also show you how these kind of all look together. So we'll take a look at the whole set. All of mine are still unpainted, yes, unfortunately, but Someday they'll be painted. They're really nice, really tiny little kits, but really fun, especially if you're a fan of Dragon Ball or like a fan of the art style of Akira Toriyama. Really cool here. I'm actually currently reading the Dragon Ball manga, which I have, have never really read through. I love the series, though. I've seen the series, of course, many times. Uh, here on the bottom, you can see it's pretty much just all the same stuff on the front, and you can see there's also highlighting it comes with two romantic parts. Those are parts for making that uh, fighter jet there. It's also showing that here on the side. One thing it is showing here on the side as well is an actual picture of the kit, what it looks like front and back and unpainted. So front and back, that's painted, that's unpainted. It also shows it here on the front there that's painted with the figures inside and everything. List price of 650 yen. Here on this side, again, it's done up in that kind of manga spine style where it's got the uh, kanji there for seven and then the part of the picture for that where we have all the boxes lined up. It makes one long picture there showing all of the kits together. So let's get this guy opened up. You guys should have a pretty good idea what to expect at this point. We've got some pretty nice color separation for the vehicle itself, but for the characters, those are all going to be molded in just that really dark brownish black color. And then some nice stickers there on that as well. That looks like it also includes stickers for the romantic flyer actually, which is cool. I wasn't sure if they were going to include those or not, but it's nice that they did. So here's the instruction manual. As you can see, just the same box art there on that side. On this side, going over the color scheme of that, here we've got all of the colors there in Japanese and English if you wanted to match those up perfectly. And then the sticker guide. So yeah, those, some of those stickers are for the airplane and then the color guide for that. So like I said, the color accuracy for the vehicles usually tends to be pretty good, but for that, because it's made up of the extra parts and everything uh, that you collect by buying each of the kits. So in order to make that, you have to buy all of the seven kits. And that is just all molded in just like all just dark brown. So you'll definitely have to paint that to get anywhere close to looking like that. On the inside, we've just got our parts list there, runner A1 and A2, and the stickers, and then just kind of normal hints there, otherwise figureized standard kits. The parts included for this set for the Romantic Flyer are the two propellers there on the front. And then inside here, it's just going over the construction of it, so you're just building the kind of the lower part, then adding the interior stuff, and then adding the exterior parts around that, finishing that up, and just a few little detail parts there at the end. So here's just a closer look at that sticker sheet. So you can see there's some pretty nice stickers there. Big Dragon Ball and uh, Master Roshi logos there. These are actually pretty nice. So as I've done with these, some of the other ones, I think most of the other kits that I've reviewed in the series so far, I haven't actually used these on the kit for the review because these are actually nice enough that I'll probably use these for the finished painted build. So I'll probably do that with this uh, one as well. I'm not sure how well that like shark teeth one is going to curve around the front of the plane. We'll probably have to end up using a water slide for that or like trying to hand paint that or something. But anyway, here we have render A1. It's in three different colors, so kind of uh, olive color there for kind of the bottom area of the van, and then this really bright yellow for the top part, and then that kind of really dark grayish brown color there for some of the details, some of the character figures are on there, and then uh, parts for the romantic flyer are on there as well. And then render A2 is all molded in the same colors with the addition of one clear part there for the headlights on and the windshield for the front of the van, as well as the sunroof, which will be sticking up as well. So kind of cool, they knocked all that out just all in, in one piece. That's pretty ingenious. So I'll get this all snapped up and then uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so here it is, straight out of the box. I gotta say this is probably the least attractive looking kit without doing any extra painting on it. That uh, that yellow is pretty obnoxious looking <laughs> and just the color scheme just right out of the box. Yeah, not gonna be very kind on your eyes, but so you're definitely gonna wanna do some painting on this one, I think, or the other ones, I mean, yeah, you're probably gonna wanna paint them anyway, but this one especially. Otherwise, I mean, it went together just really nicely, just like the rest of the kits. Uh, this one, I mean, as you guys just saw, there's not really all that many parts involved, it's just kind of a few parts for the main vehicle and then a few parts just for the four different characters. We've got Master Roshi there behind the wheel, uh, Yamcha there in the passenger side, and then Goku and Krillin 
uh, there in the backseat, young versions, obviously. And all really nicely detailed. Uh, the character figures are always really super nicely detailed. So I would definitely recommend giving those a paint job, at least like to the best of your abilities. I know it's really tiny painting, so it's quite difficult. That may be easier said than done, but I uh, would definitely recommend that. It would definitely help to just kind of show off some of that really nice detail that you can see on there. Just to try to show you guys that a little bit more, there you can see Goku with his head out the window and then like Krillin in there sitting behind him and then Master Roshi there in the front seat. Even on Master Roshi's hat, which is going to be almost impossible for me to show you guys here on camera without taking this back apart again, but on the front of his hat it even says Kame there, which is really cool. You can see just really nice detail for that and then Yamcha here on this side as well. So really cool, I like the little flag especially there for the antenna that are sticking on there. But you can see how there, there could be a lot of opportunities. I mean, if you wanted to go for like the official color scheme for this, uh, or if you wanted to do like something a little bit more creative, having some kind of more elaborate kind of design painted on here, it's a pretty wide open canvas. I mean, considering the scale, but it's a relatively wide open canvas, canvas uh, for you to design something really cool. What would be great is if someone, I don't know if I, <laughs> if I, got the time or the skills to do this. I don't think it would really be that difficult, but to measure out all these panels and like make that into like a like blank a PNG file or just like a blank Photoshop or Illustrator file or something like that. Uh, so then we could like design decals that would fit onto here. That'd be really awesome to, to have that just as like a, de a decal template to then be able to desi design something and have that printed out to just have some decals on there instead of hand painting something. It could be fun anyway. So like I said, it did also come with the two propellers for Bulma's romantic fighter plane. So let's get out the rest of the kits in the series so we can make that assembled finally. So once you do have all of the kits collected, you can line up the boxes like so to create this kind of nice image there. Again, it's similar to the mangas. Just due to like the way that the boxes work, they kind of like flare out a little bit on the side so they don't like sit really flat. So I think it might be cool if, if you were interested in doing something like that. It's just, just cut off this this just section of the box and then just like uh, glue them together onto one uh, piece of poster paper or something like that and then like you can actually make that into a separate thing. But let's get these plugged on here. Uh, they don't appear to have a specific left or right side. I think they're exactly the same. So as long as they fit in and they look right. There we go. Now we've got the romantic flyer all complete with a nice clear piece there for the canopy on the top. It's landing gear underneath. Uh, just like all of the other uh, figures, all the other kits in this line, it has a, a section there at the bottom. You can plug this onto an action base if you want. I guess I didn't show you guys that on the bottom of the van. The van also has that. So all of them have this. Uh, only one of the kits did include a little stand for that. I kind of wish they all would have included a little stand. Uh, of course, like vehicles like this, like on the ground, not really as necessary, but you could do like some like fun poses, just like have it like up, sort of like it's like going fast and like flying off the ground. It's a very kind of Dragon Ball-esque kind of thing to see. So really nice detail on this. Obviously not going to be color accurate at all, but just painting this up, it makes a nice little kind of eighth kit in the line that you can collect by buying them all. So here we go, the full set. If you end up buying all seven kits, it's going to end up costing at 650 yen each, 4,550 yen, so about 40 to 50 dollars. And I think that's, you know, you might be thinking that's kind of a lot for just like seven, eight little tiny kits, but I think it's pretty worth it considering the amount of fun that you can have uh, spending some time painting these up. Uh, you, you can have a lot of nice little figures here, especially if you're a Dragon Ball fan. Uh, having little plastic model kits of some of these really cool Toriyama designs is, I mean, they pretty much just don't exist. So <laughs> these, they, these are really great, I think, if you're a big fan of Dragon Ball. As for the scale, these aren't really meant to be to a particular scale, as far as I know. I'm sure you could measure it out and figure that out by yourself. I think they'd be relatively close to 1 35th scale. But just comparing them, you can see there is a scale difference between different figures even in the series. So, for example, Goku on the jet buggy there is much larger than Yamcha sitting in Yamcha's little car there. So there's going to be some differences. And then obviously the van being the smallest, much smaller than the rest of them in terms of the scale of that actually. So I was actually curious about how they were going to do that, seeing as how the van is kind of obviously the larger vehicle and has four characters inside there. I was wondering if they were going to really make the kit bigger to match kind of similar to the scale of the rest of them. But uh, no, they did definitely scale that down a little bit. Also, uh, for, as for the little stand, you can see I've got the jet there on the stand in the center. That's the jet that was included with uh, Son Goku's jet buggy kit. But uh, in this case, I just gave it to the jet at least so you guys could see it a little better standing up there in the center. So overall, great series, really looking forward to working on these some more. Really hoping that Bandai does 
do another series maybe from Dragon Ball Z. They could do some cool vehicles from that. Personally, I, I prefer Dragon Ball, and I think there would be kind of less opportunity from Dragon Ball Z for some of these more kind of fun and interesting, unique vehicles. But I'm sure they could find some more stuff to do or some other different series. Um, it would be cool to see a series of vehicle kits like this based on designs from Studio Ghibli movies. I think that would be really cool. There's certainly a lot of different material that they could take from in that case. But who knows, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. If you do have any other questions or comments about these, let me know down below. And until next time guys, have a good one. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.